Hi. The first thing I want to do here in this TK Inter lesson is to create an object like this, and then within it, I want to create a frame on the left hand side and a frame on the right hand side, and put a button here and here. That's what I want to do. That's the object I want to create. That looks challenging. Let's get to work. First thing I do is I key in from TK enter import everything. Then I call the constructor and I assign the the top object to the variable root. So I'll say root is equal to call the constructor and make the number one object, the parent object. And there he is. This is the parent object. Whoops. Come back here, parent object. Where did he go? Ah, gotcha. Let's put it right there. Good, that's the parent object. Now I need to create two frames and two buttons. So, let's do it. I'm going to create a frame on the left. I'll call that LF, left frame. That's equal to the following. Mr. Frame function. Yes, I want you to make a frame and I want you to put it inside the root. And he does it. So this guy, Mr. Red guy over here, is done. And I'd like you to, left frame, pack yourself in to the root. So he just did it. He just packed himself into the root. Good. Next thing is right frame. I'm going to make a right frame now that's going to be equal to uh, frame, frame function, yes. Make frame and put this into the root. And uh, right frame, yes, I want you to pack yourself in to the root. Do so right now. Bam, he does it. Wow. Okay, so I got the left frame in there, and I got the right frame in there. And I, I packed them both in there. Uh, but you don't see frames, not yet. And, well, uh, what do I do now? Ah, buttons. Let's put the buttons in there. Buttons we can see. So I'll make a button 1. Button 1, you're equal to the following. Call the button function and uh, put yourself into the right frame. No, uh, no, no, left frame. Left frame. And the text on you, Mr. Button, will say something appropriate left. And your foreground color, let's give you a foreground color, red or blue. Red, let's make you red. And hit enter. And bingo. How about button two? Button two equals what? Uh, button method, oh, uh, put yourself, put this guy into the right frame, and um, uh, what else? Uh, the text on this guy should be equal to what? Uh, right. So that sounds appropriate. And the foreground color on this guy should be different. Let's call him Blue, Mr. Blue. Okay, button number one. Yes, I want you to pack your silly self right into the... Now, he already knows he's going to go into the left frame, and the left frame already packed itself into the root. So I'm going to tell button number one to pack himself in, and he already knows the left frame. What am I going to tell him to do? Button number one, ah, I know. Button number one, I'm going to tell you to put your silly self, pack your silly self onto the left side. The side that is equal to 
left. Here we go. And we may run into some trouble now. Oh! That's trouble. My, my lefty button is on the top. What's he doing there? Uh-oh. Okay, let's go to button two. Button two. I want you to pack your... Oh, lowercase. Button two. I want you to pack your silly self onto the side that is right. To the right side. And... Oh, no. What happened to Mr. Left and right buttons. They're supposed to be on the left and right side. Not the top and the bottom. <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to do? Okay, let me do some thinking on this. What happened here? I told the buttons. I told button one to go into the left frame. And the left frame, of course, is on the left-hand side because I gave the variable the name left frame, right? Oops, that's my error. Just because I named the variable LF, left frame, doesn't mean that the frame is going to be put on the, on the left side. I have to actually tell the system to pack that guy onto the left side. Oh, I just told him what? LF, pack. So the system just packs him in the easiest way he, he can. And the default is to put him on the top. Ah, okay. I got it. So I had to tell the left frame to pack himself in on the side equal to LEFT, left. Pack himself onto the left side. Now, if this works, when I hit the enter key, this left button, which is on the top, should scooch on over to the left-hand side. Let's see if that's what happens. Hit enter. Oh, over he goes. Oh, I love it when a good plan comes together. Let's do the right frame button now. Um, uh, let's do the right frame now. Uh, Mr. Right Frame? Yes, I want you to pack your silly self onto the side that is right. So when I hit the enter key now, Mr. Right Button, who's inside the right frame, should scooch on over to the right side, along with Mr. Right Frame. Because this button was in the left frame, when the left frame scooched over to the left-hand side, the left button went with him. Now when I hit enter, the right frame is going to scooch over to the right-hand side, and Mr. Righty Button is going to follow along. Here we go. Oh, that worked also. Well, I'm super happy. A good plan has come together. We said that we were going to create a box with two frames inside of it and buttons on the extreme left and extreme right within those frames. And we did it. Well, that's all I have to say then. This is George Bull. Let's see if I can type that correctly. This is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, please rate it by clicking on the like button. I would deeply appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.